Hello everyone, welcome to the Madness Podcast. In this episode, we will learn about four steps to set your mind for success. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Said Marianne Williamson, how long have you waited to be happy at work? Or to write a book? Or bring home the income you deserve? Are you your own best support system or biggest diversion? Consider this, the cheetah has no problem using its gift of speed. The bald eagle easily uses its keen eyesight and ability to soar. Dolphins joyfully display their playfulness. Imagine what is possible for humans with our unique gift of the mind if we focus on what serves us versus what holds us back. Discover four steps to set your mind for success. 1. Know what is limiting you. Do you like mysteries? Here's one that can change your life. Let's investigate. What beliefs are at the core of who you are? Pay attention for one week to self-limiting beliefs that show up. As a detective, be consciously aware. Keep a journal handy to jot down notes. Beliefs can present themselves as a label you place upon yourself partnered with an assumption such as single parent there is only so much I can do. They can reveal themselves in a negative statement such as, I can't be, I can't do, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough. Beliefs may be uncovered in an assumption such as, there's not enough time, that's too hard, or, he'll say, no. Write down the beliefs that are restraining you from what you want. 2. Get to the source of the diversion. A good detective digs deeper. Whose voice is attached to the belief? How did this belief become attached to your life? Is it legitimate? Is it serving you? Or limiting you? Jot your notes. I have to warn you. We hesitate to go within because we subconsciously know what may be lurking at the source. That four-letter word, fear. Write down the fears you discover that are holding you back. 3. Rewrite your limiting beliefs and fears with an unlimited confident attitude. Turn, I can't, into, I am. That's too hard, into, I know I can do this part, I don't have enough time, into, I know what's important and I do that first, and, single parent there's only so much I can do, to, single parent the world is my resource. It's abundant and lacks nothing. Let me know if you need help with this. Reread your new attitudes daily until it becomes part of who you are. A simple task that makes an impact. 4. Stand strong and responsive. Do not give in to self-limiting beliefs. When they show up, mount up. When you hear, you will never be, respond by saying, says who? I determine my value. When you think, you are going to make a fool of yourself, respond, and I will love myself for having the guts to try. And when you believe there is no time left for your dreams, drop what's not as important and stand up for who you are. Are you willing to do what it takes to set your mind for success? Will you do the detective work to gain access to your unlimited potential? What I want for you is to break out of the bounds of limits and become your own best success coach. Starting now.